Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I stay here with a new video of Diagram of TS of Antha. So let's begin. So Diagram of Antha is quite difficult but small. The antha is usually bilobed with each lobe having two theca that is dithecus. Antha consists of four pollen sacs or microsporangia. Microsporangial wall has four types of layers. Now here starts the stuff. <laughs> Yeah, this small texture is important to to show the difference between the layers. Uh, it's important to show the difference between the four types of layers. That is epidermis, endothecium, middle layer, middle layers, and tape term. Here we have to show like a uh, web-like appearance. So actually, it's quite tough. It, it's time-taking process, but. Have some patience and continue. Each cell of the sporogenous tissue is capable of giving rise to microspore tetrad. Each one is a potential pollen or microspore mother cell (PMC). The process of formation of microspores from a pollen mother cell through meiosis is called microsporogenesis. So middle layers is actually one to six layers that degenerate during maturity of the anther. This layer is of tape term. Tape term cells are nutritive that provides nourishment to the developing microspores. You know to the tape term are sporogenous tissue and microspores. Sporogenous tissue fills the whole interior of the microsporangium. Endothecium is subepidermal layer of anther wall which is mostly single layered but may become multi layered. The radial and tangential walls of these cells have characteristic thickening bands. I will start leaving, but at the end I will provide you detailed title. I am not shading it, but this is the region of connective. Epidermis, it is the outermost wall layer of anther which is protective in function. So this is how we draw TS of anther, complete labeling and its functions also. So thank you friends for watching my video. I hope it would help you in your studies.